you know, I'm this really strange person to be talking about that because I'm not even a graduate myself. All right. So uh, we really don't. We are actually one company where we're very clear on the norms. So as part of our philosophy, we don't even ask for graduations. We don't. All right. What we look for is a set of skills. So typically, the kind of skills that that work really well are if do you have good mental mathematical skills. You know, can you do 12 times 12 in your mind and figure out it's okay? These are things that work well. Do you have good verbal skills? Can you communicate? Can you persuade? Can you write to persuade and not just talk to persuade? Can you analyze and figure out? So these are really the skills: your analytical skills, verbal skills, and arithmetic, basic arithmetic skills. We are not looking for people who know the square root of two or who know that pi is 3.14159. That's we really. That's not really what we're looking for. I'll come to answer your question and, and come more specifically to you. So you asked specifically about Pinstorm. So this is not really meant to be a Pinstorm talk, but I'll talk about two, for it for two minutes anyway. So what's really different about Pinstorm and how Pinstorm is changing things is that typically in advertising, in the world of advertising, advertising agencies get paid two ways. One is if you all the ads that you saw, the newspapers or the television channels charge a certain amount of money for the ads. So let's say that the back page of uh, Times of India yesterday, which had the Tata Nano ad or whatever it is. By the way, nobody mentioned Tata Nano. Huh? It's very strange. It made the biggest noise, but nobody saw. None of you mentioned Tata Nano. No, it was the ad in the back of the papers, full page backs. So that shows. No, no, it was a full page ad. Okay, that's right. No, no, I'm, I'm not blaming you guys. All I'm saying, advertising has become so invisible to us. So, you know, even after the newspaper, you might remember one ad. But actually, go back today and count the number of ads in the newspaper. There will be over 200. And there will be 199 that you have missed. So, anyway, the point is, let's say, that space would cost, say, 5 lakhs. So, what happens is that the agency, so let's say Tata has an agency called Rediffusion, and Rediffusion has placed the ad on Hindustan Times, or Times of India. Right? So, Hindustan Times charges... Uh, you know, it gives 15, 10 to 15% commission traditionally back to rediffusion. So for 5 lakhs, it would have gotten maybe 50,000 or whatever the agreement is. This thing is called agency commission. Traditionally, it used to be at 15% of the value of the advertising. In most cases, it has fallen down to today 1.5 to 2%. Because simply agencies are undercutting each other and saying, I will work on less commission. So they become brokers. The second source of revenue for advertising is, a pers is you know, some creative fees. You know, give me 50,000 or 1 lakh to do an ad. You know, that's the cost for... Uh, writing the copy and, the, and you know, laying it out and so on and so forth, and the photography is extra. The fact is that two things have happened in advertising. One, commissions have fallen simply because of neck-to-neck -neck competition. So what was that? 15% is now at 1.5%. Two, creative fees. You can't charge, I mean, you can't really build a business on charging one lakh rupees for an ad. So you will never become rich. So actually the fact of the matter is, you look around you, there are no advertising millionaires. Nobody gets rich in advertising. Nobody ever has gotten rich in advertising in the last 10, 20 years. There are millionaires in every other field. That's simply because I believe the model is wrong. So one basic difference, I'm coming to answer your question, the way that uh, our company has done something different is, we take a huge risk. What we tell the client is, tell us about your product. We will do the creative at our own cost. We will pay for the space at our, from our own pockets. We will pay for all media ourselves. If it produces a result, then you pay us. If it doesn't produce a result, don't pay us. So we guarantee performance. In fact, 100% of our revenues, this year we'll do about 20, 22 crores. Next year we should do double that. We are, uh, this will be a fourth year in business. Every pesa of this has come from guaranteed performance. And our profit margins are higher. So I'll, I'll come to that. So as a result, what happens is we want people in the company who can actually take risks. Every team is an entrepreneurial team. A team has a client and a team is charged with making a client successful. So we have a particularly uh, slightly even higher norm. We don't just look for verbal, analytical and reasoning abilities. We also look for an entrepreneurial ability saying, can you think entrepreneurially on this client and can you make it make money? You had a question. Uh, you mentioned the clients where you want performance basis on the result. Right. So It's on a variety of basis. That's also true. We, we do it on a lead basis. For example, we have a client, a broker called, a uh, large brokerage called Sher Khan. We deliver them over 50,000 leads a month. Uh, it might be on the basis of tickets. We, we do Yatra, we do Jet Airways, and we do tens of thousands of tickets a month for each of these, and we get paid per ticket we sell. You know, it's the most honest way of advertising. You know it's worked because you've sold the damn ticket and you get paid for it. There's no FUFA. 
We also do brand promotion. Sometimes we do brand, it might just be per impression, per person who sees it, per person who visits a page, per time a video is seen. In each of these cases, it's charged on a performance basis as opposed to a cost basis. If it doesn't work, we lose money. And if it works, we make lots of money. So that's, that's what's unique and different about Pinstar. Also, we kind of work on a global model. We, we, are not in, we don't offshore other agencies' work. We do our own work elsewhere. So, so we, our point was, you know, if they can build multinational agencies out of the UK and the US, why can't we build it out of India? Nobody's done this before, so we've actually gone out to doing that. Any other questions? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good point. The most important thing that a website needs to do is to be found. And many people even forget about this. So let's say, give me a business website. That, what, bus what website or what business are you talking about? So let's say plastic molded products, right? Uh, now you have a website called something.com or something, right? So what you need to find, I mean, who are your customers? You, you, okay, who needs to see the website? Potential customers and potential employees. So let's say there's somebody in China or somebody in the US or somebody in India who's looking for a plast, you know, plastic molded point, you know, uh, something, a T-welded joint or whatever it is. I don't even know what the terminology is. Toys. Okay, so let's say there's a large American retailer that is looking for a toy supplier from India. What are they going to do? They're going to go and search toy supplier India. If your company doesn't show up in the first page of results, well, I'm being asked to move out. So, do I have two minutes more? Absolutely. I was just making sure it doesn't get enough. Okay. All right. So the first thing that they're going to do is look for toy supplier, maybe toy supplier India, toy supplier cheap. Now, if you don't turn up on that page of results, you don't exist. Now, a lot of online marketing is about making sure that your page turns up on those results. There are two ways for the t page to turn up on the results. As you've seen, there's a left-hand side of the results page on Google or Yahoo or MSN. It's called the organic results or the editorial results. And there's a right-hand side. These are called the advertising results or the sponsored results. It takes, and there are two different arts. One is called search engine optimization that gets you on the left-hand side. There's search engine marketing that gets you on the right-hand side. Many of the companies, all of us, we practice both of these arts. And rather than sit and expect you to know it, I mean, that's what we do. We train people in knowing this. There is, in fact, such a crisis out there that the industry body in, in online marketing and advertising in India is called the Internet and Mobile Association of India, IAMAI. In fact, there was probably, you probably heard there was a conference yesterday in Delhi for two days called the Digital Summit. So Pinstam and IAMAI have actually come together and created a joint venture called the Digi Marketing Institute of India. All we teach is digital marketing. Because unless, so our, our belief is simple, unless there was an NIT and Aptech, Infosys would never be created. Unless we have a digital marketing institute, unless we have OM careers, we will never create the online marketing industry in India. We desperately need people. The business is coming in droves. And not just is it coming, it's good business. It's intellectually challenging business. It's not sustainable cardo business. It's not just, you know, man a call center from 2 to 4 in the morning doing some crap work that IQ 60 American can't do. It is intelligent work. We need people for this.